What is going on everybody? I'm finally back with some more reactions. I've been very busy. Today we have a video by DeGenerosity. Horror movie characters I can beat. Let's get into it. What's in the basket? Oh my god. Yo, it's spooky season. Halloween's right around the corner. So we well, back at it again with more horror Halloween's kind of already that passed, I know but... can't stand a foot against me. Because of my strength and intelligence. No one likes a long opening ceremony. <laughs> so let's waste no time and get right into round one. Ah, uh, the terrifier. Oh, I, I think this is the only character, and there's probably more, that you literally have no chance against. Apparently the terrifier was a human, but then it was shortly found out that he might be a demon or something like that. I've only seen the first Terrifier. I haven't seen the second one, and I think they made a third one too, but very gruesome movies. Fire from the movie Terrifier is about Terrifier terrifying and murking random people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, I remember that video. The clown, but Terrifier is more fun to say. Now, when looking at him, he looks like your ordinary killer clown, and he is, but the difference between him and the rest is that he's brutal. He yeah. will deal with his victims in the messiest, most grotesque way possible. I don't even think I can show you any of the ways of how he do it yeah you probably YouTube. can <laughs> but he saws a woman in half from her poon poon to her head mm -hmm. in front of her bff I've it's too crazy that. However, I don't think he's all that terrifying based on my observations of him. In the first movie, when we get introduced to him, we as the audience can subtly tell that there's something different about this guy from everybody else. I don't know if you can notice, but this man's teeth is terrible. Disgusting. It looks like he never picked up a toothbrush a day in his life. At you can all. tell he at least got gingivitis or mouth cancer, <laughs> so that'll lower his stats in a fight against me. He technically fighting two battles at once. He also gets bitched by the pizza shop owner for being weird and creepy. <laughs> now, this would have been an amazing moment to jump up. Even though at this point in the movie, he hasn't killed anyone yet, him having a staring problem at the shop alongside his whole demeanor. If you saw this movie, there's a point in this first opening part where I think he gets thrown out, right? But the guy goes back to the bathroom and there's like shit everywhere. Disgusting. It isn't the most disgusting part that he's done in this movie, of course, but I just found that really gross and also i would like to add if a creepy ass clown is staring at you from across the room in a restaurant i think you should probably just maybe get up and leave i'm gonna assume he's trying to start something and we fighting that and since everyone else in the shop hate him too they're joining in with me because <laughs> the way he do these murders he strikes me as someone you can win against if you can sneak him or come in numbers i don't know when he don't got a gun now i know he technically a demon since he gets revived at the end of the first and second movie right but he got no other demon powers plus his revives takes at least two to three business days to do mm. so i'll have time for seconds <laughs> i just gotta be on my toes this is low to mid diff at best no. Nah, I, I think you'd have to probably seal him away with some type of like weird ritual, I'm guessing. Sort of like Master Rochi's like evil containment wave. I mean, I don't know how you're going to do that, but I mean, that's the only way I see anyone beating that dude. <laughs> Long Legs is about an FBI agent who gets assigned to a this. case of a string of murders, and each one leaves a note signed by Long Legs. <laughs> this guy however what's what? weird about these murders is other than the letters left at the scene there's no physical evidence that this guy is the killer even though he definitely is like look at him he got to be guilty of something the reason for the mm. lack of evidence is because there's two more accomplices to the murders the main character's mom and satan the devil himself they've been creating dolls of their victims giving it to them and having the devil do the rest what? so this is a powerful force i'm dealing with how am I supposed to beat these guys when they have the literal devil on their side? Right. Well, joke's on them. Because I deal with the devil every day. <laughs> through my struggles. Facts. Temptation. <laughs> anger. Envy. And almost half the time I end up winning. Because I have God on my side. And in a fight against these devil-worshipping demons, I believe he will give me the strength of a thousand young to punish these sinners <laughs> to death in a life or death boxing match. Amen. So yes, I can confidently say, on God, <laughs> I'm beating the devil alongside his ugly ass disciples too. No diff. I have the Holy Ghost with me. Nah, I don't know if you actually win in that though. 
I, I think that if you have a supernatural force as powerful as the actual devil, I really don't think there's really much you could do about that. Now, I don't know what the dolls do when you receive them from long legs and the other person, but uh, that's got to be a really hard thing to not only decipher where the perpetrators are and how to f find the puzzle and catch them, but also stop them. You got to be like Sherlock Holmes with that. A quiet Place, a quiet place good takes movie. place in a world where monsters called Death Angels just popped up in New York and started killing people. <laughs> Although these things are blind, you can't make any sound or noise because these things will find you. So you got to stay quiet. This is gonna be more of a how'd I survive than me beating them. Cause what I look like trying to fight this, I'm yeah. not Epo. First, I'm gonna travel solo or with my direct family. I'm not traveling with no other groups, none of that. <laughs> Especially if they got a kid with them. Second, oh, the kids no gotta kid. go. All of them gotta go. <laughs> Cause they'll be the first ones to get us killed. Most of them be crying over the smallest things. Plus they won't be able to run from these monsters with their little legs. Oh. They are free meal for these things. And I'm not trying to be the appetizer. And I'm only talking little, little kids. If your kid is old enough to know when to shut the hell up, they're cool. But if they aren't, I'm sorry to tell you, but <laughs> I highly recommend you to abandon your children. They'll only hold you back just like in real life. Who knows? They might be able to survive on their own, maybe. Wow. Five percent chance. But th that's not nothing. So only family, no <laughs> kids, and a lifetime supply of moon pies. Moon pies, Gotta bro. stay fed somehow. In fact, we probably don't even got to do all that. Cause I don't even like moon pies, bro. I used to get those brownies that had sprinkles on top of it in high school, or maybe it was middle school, but I ate one just recently, and for some reason, they do not hit the same. Spoilers, their weakness is high pitch frequencies. So you can basically go to PetSmart and buy a dog whistle True. and have them beat. These guys aren't even much of a threat. They're like a little puppy that can rip you in half. When looking at them like that, they don't seem too scary no more, do they? Meaning they ain't gonna be a challenge for me. 10 out of 10, I'm surviving a quiet place. Wow, scream. <laughs> I need you to- You literally could just put a giant speaker on top of one of the buildings in the cities and just play loud music to attract them and maybe just shoot them with like a RPG. That's a great plan in my opinion. They can lure all the monsters from Quiet Place, turn the speaker on from far away, they're gonna go to the fucking speaker and just blow up the building or something. That's probably the best shot you got. Shake that booty, I'm blocking you, brother. Unfriended is a movie <laughs> taking place in a Skype call. A group of friends are chatting. What is that the audio? Ghost of their friend that self-destructed exactly a year earlier joins the call and starts murking them one by one until one of them Ooh. confesses about recording and posting an embarrassing video of her, which ended up being her 13th reason. Mm. And the ghost power level is pretty strong. It can physically break into their house and it's shown powers of mind control. So oh, she ain't nah. like some of those other ghosts that exist just to haunt you and be spooky this ghost means business but y'all know me no person ghost or demon gonna catch me lacking i know i can beat this ghost the only reason these guys had a hard time with it is because these group of friends are dumber than a sack of potatoes although they do try calling the police once and attempt to track the ghost down as if it ain't a ghost they don't do nothing else to fight against this ghost they just play along with its death games and i'm just wondering why none of these guys are leaving Granted, i'm saying why not just turn off your computer or just disconnect your wi-fi I don't think it's wise, especially if all your other friends are getting killed the same way, to stay on a Zoom call, knowing that the ghost is probably going to attack each and every one of you. The ghost said if anyone leaves the call, they die. But they oh. can leave the house without the ghost knowing while staying in call at the same time. That's Everybody's true. Everybody's screaming and distracting on there. Laura ain't gonna notice. By the way, that's the name of the ghost. And even if she were, we don't know that because they don't even try it. Or even better, secretly text everyone in the chat to turn off their Wi-Fi at the same time. So <laughs> yeah. they all leave the Skype call at once. Because with this, they technically did not leave the call. They got kicked out, so it doesn't count. And even if it do, it can't go after all of us. It's one ghost. Only one of y'all gotta die. 
not me though. Yeah, or it ain't gonna we be can me. Do the best <laughs> option, which is to confess your sins. Cause spoilers, the main girl in the movie was the one that filmed Laura's Thirteenth Reason and posted it. And earlier oh. in the film, when she was researching how to stop ghosts from killing you and your friends on Facetime, the website said admitting guilt is the only way out. So all she oh. had to do was say. Yo, about the video and the bullying and me being the reason you shot yourself. Too late. My bad. Like, I didn't even know you were going to do all that for real. <laughs> she could have just done that. But instead, she blames her friends when the ghost asks who did it. Getting them killed with her still dying because the ghost knew she lying the whole time. That's got to be the worst friend in existence. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen this movie, but... Dude, putting the blame on them, then getting them killed and still not confessing is just diabolical work. Unbelievable. All of this bloodshed was completely avoidable. <laughs> For real. I've listed a few good options to beat this ghost and save your friends' lives at the same time. But you know what this girl does at the end of the movie instead? What's she that? goes on chat roulette begging people to call the police for her now if this is not the dumbest option i don't know what is tell me would you go on omega talking to nah. from Tim Buck too, begging them please call the cops a ghost is killing us on facetime no. like why would that idea even cross your <laughs> mind these guys are so dumb in the movie there's no saving them you know I'm if they actually applied logic to some of these scary movies then we wouldn't have a scary movie i would love to watch a horror movie where the characters are actually smart and they don't just die by making the most dumbest decisions imaginable it's saving me i am not dying in this situation even if these were my group of friends because <laughs> i'm gonna be in that call confessing and snitching like i just received <laughs> a happy meal at interrogation you damn I'm right for ride or die but dying is always the last option mm -hmm. for me. and if i don't have to i ain't going to mm -hmm. this is a low diff ghost problem i'm surviving <laughs> Dead ass. As soon as people start dying, it was him, it was her, it was her, it was him. Tiana, Khadija, Lenny Carvel, him, him, him. <laughs> I am not dying. Spare me, please. Godzilla? Oh, yeah, you were cooked. Godzilla needs no introduction because everyone will know them when their big ass shows up. <laughs> Some might say they aren't a horror movie character, but I know the Japanese would hate to see this nigga coming, so I'm counting. <laughs> Not only do they stand at more than 350 feet, but some of its powers include nuclear breath, nuclear shockwaves, laser beams, telepath, regeneration, telepath? flight, and fight. This thing's stats are all maxed. I'm surprised anybody stood a chance at even damaging this beast. Listen, if there's Godzilla in my city, you know how I'm gonna beat Godzilla? I'm changing cities, man. That's easy. That's super easy. The fuck? I'm not staying around if Godzilla is causing mass destruction. He can have my city, bro. What do you mean? Many people would assume the task of beating Godzilla is an impossible mission. But you know what? They said the same thing to Tom Cruise about his missions. And that guy has like 30 movies proving us wrong. <laughs> so do I have a plan against Godzilla? Of course I do. Listen and learn. Now, fighting, military weapons, and nukes won't work on it. Exactly. But you know what would? and Ava. We build a motherfucking Ava suit to beat Godzilla. These things are not only strong, they crazy fast, or at least fast enough to dodge his lasers and hot ass breath. I mean, you'd have to assume that somebody has the knowledge to build that in the first place, but that's just, that's just me. Plus, we've seen how crazy the Ava can be when it goes berserk. It's pretty Against sick. Godzilla, it might have a chance. Now you might ask, how the hell am I going to get access to an Ava? Right. And I'm telling you, if Godzilla pulled up to Myrtle Beach one day wreaking <laughs> havoc, they won't have time oh, to think Myrtle about Beach? military strategy or how unqualified I am for this task. It won't matter because they will see my confidence. <laughs> and when me and whoever the president will be next week meet eyes, they will immediately be like, someone please get this man a suit and all of our tax money. Ava suit secured. Nah, now, bro. all we need is someone's mom to sacrifice and merge her soul to the Ava. I vote Beyonce. <laughs> I believe her soul is stronger than a thousand sons. Beyonce! Why Beyonce? With all those requirements put together, I believe I have a pretty strong chance against Godzilla. And if the government so happens to deny my request, then we're all fucked. I'm not gonna hype myself up too much, so I would say I have like a six 
maybe seven out of ten chance of beating Godzilla, you know. But it has to be in the suit. Really? With no Ava suit? Pray. And there you have it. A few more horror movie characters I could beat in a match of fisticuffs. So many of them I could beat, my record would look like Floyd Mayweather's if this was real. I don't and believe if you don't it, think I can beat serial killers, ghosts, or demons, then you're a whole different type of delusion, oh buddy. You don't know what I'm <laughs> capable of. I don't need to prove nothing. That's all I gotta say. And in conclusion, <laughs> this album is so good. Wow. <laughs> I mean, unless you Goku. Superman, The Flash, Batman, I mean, any of those fictional characters, you ain't whooping none of these characters in this compilation. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go over there and support the generosity. And if you enjoy my reaction, give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with some more reactions. Peace!